This is the black hole glitch in Super Smash Bros. Melee. What if I told you you could technically recreate this glitch in Rivals of Ether, but it's a lot easier? I'd like to introduce you to the Flower Void glitch. The only things that you're going to need for this glitch is Sylvanos, some Abyss runes, and an opponent. So you start off by going to Abyss Versus, and then once you get there, you're going to enter the Konami code, which is going to be on your screen right now. After that, you're going to pick Sylvanos. And I'd also like to say that this does work on PC and Switch, but while I discovered it, I was on the Switch. The L rune makes it to where Sylvanos' plant becomes a minion, and the M rune makes it to where you can spawn unlimited plants. But the thing is, if you don't enter the Konami code, the plant minion will not spit up seeds like he needs to to activate this glitch. This glitch is significantly easier if you do pick a stage with platforms. It is possible on stages like Endless Abyss and Jules Vale when the platform isn't near the uh, that section of the stage, but it is a little bit harder. I did do it with Eliana, and I think the only reason she really got hit and got stuck in this glitch was because she is her bigger body. Now, for the glitch, all you really have to do is just spam the special button and make sure it lands on a platform and just continue this process. The minimum that it works for on characters like Edelis and Eliana, since they are bigger, is anywhere from 50 to 70 seeds. But for smaller characters like Ori, you really want to put out around 100 or so. I usually just go from the 8 minute marker and count all the way down to 6 minutes in like 15 seconds or even just 6 minutes. That way I know for sure the character will get stuck in the glitch. I'm going to tell you guys how to get out of the glitch and why it works. To get out of the glitch, you usually have to have Sylvanas either hit you with a smash attack or sometimes an aerial. Aerials don't always work though. The only other way that you can get out of this glitch is, I think it's like just before 150 or 100%, if you move your control stick up, left, or right, you will get hit by all the seeds, and it's going to kill you regardless because your percentage is going to be so high, but you will be able to get out of the glitch. Once the screen starts shaking and the flowers start to fan out more, you cannot get out of the glitch any longer. Until Sylvanos decides that he wants to hit you with a smash attack, you have no options. Okay, so why does this glitch work though? The only explanation that I really have is whenever the seeds are being shot up into the air and they're coming back down to get eaten by the minion plant, there's a hitbox just below the platform right as it's eating the plant. So usually if you're getting hit by Sylvanas' seed, it'll do the regular animation where it spins around and hits you away. But because it's being eaten and it's still clipping through the stage, it will not go through that spinning animation because it's currently being eaten, but that hitbox still exists. So whenever you have about a hundred of these, you are constantly being hit and you can no longer get out. I'm hoping to maybe discover a couple more glitches in the future, I have no idea what they could be, and the only reason that I even discovered this glitch is because I wanted to see how far I could push the switch until it was at its limit, like if it would crash the game or anything like that, because when Definitive Edition released at midnight my time, I instantly went in and started messing around with a bunch of things, like Shovel Knight's Taunt originally was crashing the game, and then when you went into Abyss mode, I was equipping all the different runes for all the new characters that were in there, like all the DLC and stuff, and stuff like Shovel Knight's Bait Bomb was crashing the game, Sylvanos had a huge mess of problems with like all of his flowers. If you spawned more than three flowers, it would crash the game. So when I equipped those runes on the Switch and it didn't crash the game, I was like, well that's pretty cool, so what's the limit? And then after I kept spawning more and more flowers, there was no limit. I had put one flower on the left platform of Merchant Port and I put another flower on the right side and kept continuously spawning flowers to see when would the left flower disappear. And it never disappeared. So then I had an idea. What if all the seeds were being shot up? Can I hit someone into it? And then I'd hit them into it, they'd take a bunch of damage, they'd fly off the screen, and then they would die. And then one of the times, I accidentally hit them under the platform, and they just clipped into it, and then they got stuck. And I had no idea what was happening. All I knew was the screen was shaking, and it was freaking out, and the game was really slow. The first time I did discover this glitch, it was on Edelis, on Merchant Ford, on the right side. After that is when I started to test on every stage on every character. Now we have the Flower Void glitch. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, go down in the description below, follow me on all my socials. I've been streaming Rivals a lot more since Definitive Edition came out. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that playlist, I have a bunch of videos that you can watch, and maybe I'll see you in the live streams too, I've been doing viewer games, and we can just have a really good time. Maybe we can even recreate the glitch on stream. There's a lot more Rivals content that's going to be coming out soon. 
Definitive Edition is sick. I'm glad all these new players are here. Welcome to the community, and I'll see you guys in another video. Have a good day, everyone.